kid. Another one down, huh? Great work. But, uh, but uh, hey, there's something you should die. see. We do something Take a look after you turn in your bounty. Where we all go to sit and stare at the dead body while leaking out of our eye holes. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure what... All right, good. Get over here. Just do the normal thing and stick it up our butt. But oh well. Check this out. Hello, Blim City citizens. That's Clug Nugman. Blim City Magistrate. As you all know, I'm working hard to flush out all the crime and drugs from our streets. I'll be the first to admit, we haven't made much headway in the fight against the G3 cartel. All right, all right. Now catch this next bit. All about to change. We've learned of a bold bounty hunter who's been bravely taking this G3 matter into their own hands. You hear that? He's talking about you! They've already dealt with two of the cartel's most powerful officers. Yeah, you got lucky. I am not too proud to ask for help in our war on drugs. Bounty Hunter, if you're listening, please consider joining forces with the good people of Blim City. I hope you'll choose to come forward and meet with me personally at my office in City Hall. I mean, we might as well hear them out, right? I already told him you go. Without even asking us first? No, don't start. Trust me, he's legit. This guy's been anti-G3 since before any of you were even in diapers. Honestly, I don't know if Gatlin's even wear diapers. Head through there. Clug's expecting you. Sorry for making the call without you, but uh, Clug's a good man. I say we hear him out. Hmm, so this is where the magic happens, huh? Come on, you know how hard it is to get a meeting with the Magist- Hey, where the hell are you going? Go talk to Clug! Jesus! Thank you so much for coming, Bounty Hunter. Our pleasure. Nice view you got up here. Look, I'll cut to the chase. I need your help. You're a human, correct? My men looked into it. Sorry. You survived the G3's attack on your home planet Earth, right? Yeah, they're a human. We're Gatlians. Of course. Sorry. I'm familiar with your plight as well. It's such a tragedy what happened on Gatlas. It makes much sense that you and the human would join forces but perhaps you have room for one more ally as well? A lawless bounty hunter teaming up with a squeaky clean politician. <laughs> really? That's precisely why I need your help. I'm having the darndest time curbing the species drug trade. I can only do so much and only within the confines of the law. I mean, I've got my hands full with Gary the Poisoner. He's not just poisoning the water supply. He's moved on to poisoning weirder stuff now, like street lamps. We don't even know how that works, or if it's actually a problem. Maybe it's fine to poison street lamps. I'm a bit overwhelmed, and I wish I could focus more time on the G3. But you, you've taken out two top G3 officers in less time than it takes us to file a single report. So you see how you can help me, but there's also one way I can help you. Go on, let me take it all in. This tool on my desk here will help you rescue your fellow humans. You can use it to teleport them to a safe haven my team has arranged for them to stay at until the G3 are dealt with. Let me get this straight. You're giving this to us for free. Well, the human species is technically a drug. I can't have dangerous sentient drugs in the hands of my citizens, and you can't have your people getting captured and consumed. This solves both of our problems. Assuming you plan to continue taking out the G3. That's right. Then, thank you. Sincerely, you humans and Gatlians, you're both very noble species. This means a lot to me. I've made it my life's work to use my power to help people in need, but even I have my limits. I'm just glad I have someone like you to turn to. As a token of thanks, my team will be feeding any intel we find on the G3 directly to your handler, Mr. Zaruthian. We've already sent him everything we had. The rest is in your hands. We appreciate that, pal. If it's okay if I call you pal. That's all I have for you. Feel free to stay as long as you like. The view is breathtaking. Oh, uh, feel free to stay as long as you'd like. Look at us! And we're back! So, oh, it went well, huh? I got a message saying they'll hook us up with any G3 intel they find. Yeah, and he hooked us up with a way to save humans! God damn, you got it easy. Nothing as convenient as this ever happened when I was bounty hunting. Hey, uh, speaking of... 
We should get you a jetpack before you head back out into the field. You're really gonna need it. Head on down to the pawn shop and see if they got one in stock. Oh, and yeah, you might want to hit up Bordeaux's chef stand too. Been a little shady, but uh, those warp discs he's selling can be pretty helpful. I'm serious. No more bounties until you get a jetpack from Mr. Keep. Well, it's awful hard to explain. Oh, sweet Jesus, it's a massacre. Is that his head? It ain't no watermelon. I think that's his nose. It looks like he's been bleeding too. <laughs> But he don't even bait his own. You think I'm kidding? You're barely gonna be able to get around this universe without a jetpack. Yeah, I don't know how you managed to get this far. You gotta hold me steady if you wanna run so fast. Off of me. Looking for a jetpack. A jetpack? Oh, certainly. I can help. Uh, I can help. Ah, jetpack, huh? Great choice. Really phenomenal choice. Let's lock that purchase in. Cool, so where's the jetpack? Not so fast. I gotta back order that bad boy. I'll have it ready for you in a couple of days, I promise. No refunds, by the way. This purchase is final. Well, I was really kind of hoping we would get it right away. Portaling your item to the baggage area now. Oh, I wish I hadn't sold that. All right, you're all set. Well, that seals the deal. Another great piece of business. Make sure you bring that around here once in a while so I can see it again. Yeah, sure. Just keep standing there like an endless... Congrats on your purchase. What a fucking cookie. Yo, bounty hunter. Want to do some perfectly legal business? How's the bounty hunting? Kick rocks, you mook. I'm allowed. That's fine. So don't elect. Hey, chill out. We don't gotta kill them. How'd it go? Did you get a jetpack? Yeah, but Mr. Keeps got it on back order, so we gotta wait. Great. Perfect excuse for a rest. We're still waiting on Clug's intel anyway. Why don't you go to bed and sleep off some of that excitement? I'm a little drowsy. I can use a little sleep myself. You were fucking here? Hey, good night, partner. I'm just gonna sit right here and watch you fall asleep. I'm really glad we met. You know, I, I think I think we're doing something amazing here. How cool would it be if we actually stopped the G3? Sorry, sorry, I, 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 I'm just, I'm excited. I'll shut up. L let's get some sleep. Pretty soon, you know, we'll be jetpacking across all the space. Sorry, I'm, I'm being too loud. You're probably trying to, let's get you to sleep. Partner, let's take this jetpack for a spin. Can you make it over that gap? Holy shit, this rules! 
Nice! Check it out. Yummy, what is it? We'll see you there. Hey, it's me, I'm Jimmy Goofster. Welcome to another prank call show with me, the Goofster. Let's let's get our first prank caller on the line. Oh, check out that landing, goddamn! Well, I gotta tell you, Gene was right. That is gonna come in handy. It's also fun. You can fly while doing combat. It's a very cool uh, feature that we have here. We put a lot of time and effort into it. Let's head back and talk to Gene and see if there's any new bounties. Don't wear yourself out, bounty hunter. It's pretty nice up here, just a little too high. Nobody's answering! <laughs> oh fuck, alright! Ah, oh, goddammit! Yeah, I'm fucking winded, buddy. Finally! What? Did I piss you off or something? Ready, bounty hunter? Oh. Let's make him bleed! I'm nice and loose. Come see what I've got in stock on the food menu. Yo, Bounty Hunter, come see what I've got in stock on the food menu. What's inside? Sky people now.
Why do you want to kill them so bad? I'm not doing it. Concession man, I got illegal things for you. Here's what's up. My name's Stan, and I sell vials of alien cum. I know that's probably not what you wanted to hear when you walked over here. You want it cum or what? Sure, okay, give us the cum. Wow, you just went right for it. Didn't even ask any questions. <laughs> Didn't even ask how much it cost. <laughs> I knew I was right about you. I knew you loved alien cum. Well, here, have this alien cum on the house. Just tell all your friends about me. Say Stan has the absolute best alien cum I've ever seen, tasted, touched, whatever. I'm not sure if it's his or if he's getting it from some other alien, but I'm just such a huge fan of his work and what he's doing out there on the streets of Blam City selling alien cum to the community. Say all of that. You really want to kill them? Sorry, no dice. Ah, looking for more alien cum, are you? Well, I'm sorry. I'm fresh out of alien cum right now. We sell out early sometimes. I got to go restock my supply. And that's not so easy, trust me. But give me a little bit and I'll have plenty more. I promise. I just, I just need some recovery time. Uh, do you don't think we can land? Not this one. Do you know what you're doing? Please just land. Please just land. Please just land. Wanna do some perfectly legal business? Coyotes pee on me. God, please! Don't let it turn to night again. The coyotes pee on me at night. Ah, uh, you're back, you're back. Hey, come on through, come right on through. Oh, you're back. Hey, yeah, my leg's still very broken.
Tunggu dulu. You guys always flying around. You gotta hold me steady if you wanna run so fast. Whoa, okay. Take it easy. I'm not gonna look down. I'm not gonna look down. I'm not gonna look down. What do we get? kind of confusing me because there's humans in there but it's all bad all bad
not everyone needs to die. Keeping an eye on that fuel tank, right? Don't you get tired running around so much? Can't we just stay on the ground for a bit? Just floating around on the breeze. We can land.
please just land. Please just land. Please just land. I'm not gonna look down. I'm not gonna look down. I'm not gonna look down. Keeping an eye on that fuel tank, right? Where are you in such a rush to? Yeah, I wasn't feeling that either. You know, it makes me so happy every time you walk by me. I just have to tell you. Don't fucking look at me. Keep moving. That we're all so horny and having sex all the time. And it's not. It's fine. We don't like being full. I've been telling you to clean up. This place is a mess. I need you to clean it up before Tweet gets here. Oh, got a big date with your sad sack Flimborg boy toy? Fuck off, Gene. Like you've even never been on a date. Hey, don't even start, sister. I know a lot about dates. I fuck more aliens than your brain can comprehend. And even I don't want to touch your boyfriend. So sick of hearing about this guy. Yeah, right. My boyfriend is so fucking hot, though, right? Oh, come on. You haven't even seen him. Why'd you answer that? Trust me, you don't have to support her just because she's family. This guy's a loser. He is so hot. He's like a low seven or a high six. And he's really nice to me. Yeah, no ulterior motives there. Just clean up after yourself, Jesus. Hey, look, I'm sorry if I'm coming off harsh. He's messing up the group dynamic. We've got a good thing going here. We do that fun sitcom banter back and forth while your nibbling here goes and blasts alien baddies in the face. It's great! Dude, you're lucky you even get to live here with us. I don't care about your damn dynamics. I'm just saying you barely know this guy. Are you sure you're even attracted to him? Most aliens only bang their own species. Oh, what about you? You just said you've slept with basically everything in the whole galaxy. Yeah, but I'm a washed-up degenerate. You've got your whole life ahead of you. That's more condescending than it is sweet. What? No, uh, look. We've spent all this time living together. I, I care about you now, Leslie. For fuck's sake, my name's Lizzie. Come on, tell her I care about her. We're all living under the same roof, and that makes us family. And it makes her business my business. I'm the man of the house, so she needs to do what I say. And before anyone accuses me of being a misogynist, yeah, I know I'm a misogynist. We all know I'm a misogynist. That's bad, and I'm working on it. But this is about me being right and your sister being wrong. Listen to yourself. I can make my own decisions. I don't know why you think you're suddenly some father figure to me just because you're crashing on my couch and eating my diary. Oh, yeah, I said eating. He's been eating pages out of my diary. So what? My species eats paper. It's delicious. Who gives a shit? I'm so sick of this shit. Look, I just don't want Twig to think I'm messy, okay? It's that simple. And I don't want you dating him at all. Why don't I set you up with my nephew, Grimble Dick? He's got a steady job. And yes, before you ask, he's got both his legs. That's not like a family ailment or anything. Fuck off. Just grow up and get used to me and Twig. Come on, tell Gene I can date whoever I want. 
Thank you. Not that I needed your approval. Oh, fine, yeah. Team up against the depressed paraplegic. I didn't know you were depressed. I mean, I knew you were depressing. Har, har, har. Just clean up, Gene, okay? Sorry to drag you into all that. Anyway, a nice little arrangement with Clug is paying off. They sent us intel on two new bounties. So, uh, go ahead if you want to get started on those. of your crew. Oh, uh, it was awful. Everyone else got enslaved again, if you can believe it. Honestly, I think they like being enslaved. Uh, no, no, hey, no judgment here. Everyone's got their kink. Where can we find them? They're working at Screndo Labs now, just past the Mushroom Valley here. Just be careful. That place is freaky. Hey, we appreciate it, bud. Those killer jetpack skills, bud. <laughs> Whoa! Now we're talking. Love that jungle breeze on my face. I can't wait to get back on the ground. <laughs> now this feels like the right way. Trust me, I can just feel it on my skin. It's pretty nice up here. Just a little too high. Mm. You'd love Gatorol. Your body will reject it and you'll die. But you're tasty. Oh uh, uh, man, there's like really no music. How many of you motherfuckers are there? Oh, yeah, I love breaking shit. How's it going for you? Stay alive. Here comes more of them. Bye. 
ass that pissed me so Sweetie's always the right choice. I got faith in you, man. You ready, partner? signs and forms just one sec hey we don't have to wait for this guy let's just open the door on our own hey you want to launch ourselves with those things you in the mood for a good time maybe <laughs> let's go never really my thing. I'm not anti-science or anything like that. I'm not one of those crazies. I'm just like more into other shit. You know, uh, I, I don't want to think about formulas or whatever, man. That's all I know about science. Hello and welcome to Screnda Labs. Only authorized personnel are allowed beyond. Oh, you're the bounty hunter who helped us out with all that paperwork and killed my boss, Krubus. <laughs> we really appreciated that. But sorry, I need to let the G3 know that you're here. Just my job. Nothing personal. You're going to set off the alarm. Yep, I'm going to set off the alarm. We've got an intruder. G3 are coming for you. Sorry, it's my job. And I don't care about you. G3 coming our way, but those elevators are calling our names. Yeah, break that shit. I, I gotta admit, I was good to kill that guy. Tell me why they would build an elevator like this. What are they gonna do next? Add spikes? Watch it. It wouldn't look very cool if you fell. Please be careful. You know what? How many ways are there? Too many if you ask me. Come on, we 
just popping our heads in. Stay alive. Here comes more of them. No, no, don't like this. Don't like this at all. Nope. This is not right. Oh, what a fucking mess in here. Now, this is exactly what I was expecting. Hello, Johnson. It's Dr. Gurgula. I've been asked to send you some of my findings on the human genome. It's only a small portion, and I doubt you'll even be able to comprehend what you're looking at. But I promised Garmantua as I'd provide them. And now please don't contact me again. I'm busy. Am I the only one getting bad vibes from the Dr. Gurglia guy? Is it just me? What is Gurglia? Is it what you, the sound that you make when you're you? Fuck me, man. They mess with Gatlians. Hey, hey, we gotta breathe over here! Is that B? Let's do it? I want the bees here! The bad guys did experiments on me and fucked me up real bad in basically every way you can imagine. Holy shit, am I glad to see another Catlian alive in here. Uh, are there any others? Oh my god, yes! There's so many! Oh, but unless you've been alive, then no! These fucking G3 bastards! Creature, we're taking on the cartel! You want in? Oh, no, no, no. They take good care of me. Holding me against my will, cutting me open, doing experiments on me. Okay, you know what? Say it out loud. I think they might actually be bad. I'm part of your team now. Hell yeah. Welcome aboard, uh, creature. That, 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 that's your name? I guess so. Oh, hey, we're locked in. But that's fine. Don't freak out or anything. I can give birth to a bunch of little freaks and they can disable the door lock. It's fine. Oh, yeah. Ah, beautiful. Look how one of my little fuckers just saved us. Being a dad is the best feeling in the world. Then a few seconds later, when your mutant kid dies because it has a microscopic life, that's not so good of a feeling, actually. But I'm numb to it. Oh, yeah. That's one of my children. They died fast. 
Don't worry, it's easy to make. Ah, who are these cute critters? Oh yeah, that's one of my children. They die fast. Don't worry, it's easy to make more. And it feels good. God, I love them so much. That's one less G3 to deal with. They grow up so fast, then they die. It's pretty rough being a dad. Do not recommend it. Hey, bounty hunter, I think I saw a force field that we can maybe get past it, it, with creature, you, like, you, like using creature. What's up again? This is our best human Fergal hybrid specimen. It may not be as cool as our subject in the weapons lab, but it's still rather beautiful, isn't it? We call it a fur man. Or, or maybe a hurdle. I, we haven't decided yet. Why am I telling you all this? You know, to be honest, it's because you look cool and a little bit badass, to be frank. This is a dead human with a Fergal on top, like, like a toupee. Who is the scientist here, me or you, huh? Sorry, not killing this one. Cannot be a good experiment. Would you like to do the honors? We're going to try to show up those cocky nerds in the weapons lab by fusing this human with some other aliens. Just hit the button. So you just let anybody come in here and help with experiments? I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be honest, we're not qualified. Look, I can do it myself if you don't want to. I'm just trying to be nice. I'm not killing them. Oh, shit. Hmm, that wasn't supposed to happen. You hit the button. It's on you. That was on you. Sweezy's ready for blood. They fuse Gatlings to Mercs. I gotta be honest. Oh, it turns my stomach. I hate seeing this. Are we fighting some guys or just well, hanging out? Hey, I'm down on. for whatever. You are strong. Good thing I'm safe behind this glass. Oh! Use one of my kids to fuck with that guy's more. He'll go into a frenzy. Did I tell you they can do that? Oh, oh, and if you keep piling my kids on top of a guy, they can do mind control shit. They can make a bad guy fight for lots. Oh, shit. That mind control thing doesn't last very long. Sorry about that. I keep yelling at my kids to make it last longer, but they're shitheads. They do not listen. Great to be outdoors again. Nice to get some fresh air after all those biological horrors. Ooh. Oh, I can help you with that little hook bug hive. Shoot my little guys in there. Hey, y'all. Did I ever tell you that you're literally my best friend? 
Look at my little guy in there rustling up the hive. Isn't that cute? I'm so proud of him. Hey, this is fun! Do you do this sort of stuff all the time, bounty hunter? Yeah, what's up again? Hey, buddy, look! There's humans! Great. Looks like there's more coming. And they can beat us. Hey, you should try using Clug's device to save those humans, right? Help us. Please, you have to be in here. This is inhumane. Oh, oh, oh well, the wording is kind of confusing me because there's humans. Run! And attack! Go, humans! Run free! How's it going?
Is this what you want to do? You want to keep on coming at us? God damn, man! Take a break! We need your talents. It's one of your things. Yeah, let's do this. That's Angela Scrindle. Wanna kill him? Oh, fuck. Bounty hunter. Damn, these Scrindles are quick. I'm afraid. I am afraid. You think they're good? They just keep fucking coming. Oh, the tough one. Oh, oh. Look who shows up. The, the one who's tougher than the others. I got some sick ass this I can shoot. Just stay on the ground for a bit. Hey, what's on TV? 
Uh, I guess it's supposed to be porn, but it's like alien porn, so I, I don't know. I, I honestly have no idea what I'm watching. I mean, I was able to get off to it, like, after a while. Um, honestly, now I love it, though. Uh, not sure why they want me to jack off this much, but, you know, I'm happy to do it. Like, all the tentacles and the moving parts, it's, I don't know, there's something really endearing about it. Yeah, I, I like it a lot, actually. I mean, if, if I ever get out of here, I, I hope I can, like, bring this with me, at least. I mean, I, I don't even think I could go back to normal porn after this. All right! Good choice, Bounty Hunter! We only saved you because it would have been depressing not to! I just want to enjoy my lunch. Come right up, come right up, come right up! No rush, Haas. You could hang here all day. I'm lonely. You got it, Haas. All yours. Look, it's not just because we're in a cafeteria. I'm... Enjoy your meal! I mean, a uh, purchase. See ya, Haas. All right, enough bullshit. We can see you, Screndel. Let us in. No, you can't. Fuck off. I'm back. Shoot my kids everywhere. Fuck you. You and me, we got this. God damn it. Why do they keep running? Ah, Jesus Christ. I, why are you still following me? Hey, hey, this is all good. We're getting in some cardio for you. What the 
guys want to take a break or something? We're gonna all play chess instead. Okay, okay, I give, I give. Whoa, that was creative, but nice work. Whew, back in the saddle. Feeling good, Bounty Hunter? How's it going? Push 
come to shove, I bet I know more about science than you weirdos do. All three squirrels are down. We did it. That's how we do, huh? We lay them down, baby. Holy sh! Oh, alien biology. Always, oh, right. It's just, it's just fucked. It's just fucked, really. Good, delicious. Now let me dig into the last bro. Yes, three in one sitting. Each one more visually better than the last. You know what? I don't see this often, but I'm fully sated right now. I actually need a rest. You there, bounty hunter? Oh no! Is that guy mad to us? That's right. <laughs> I know who you are, and I want you to know how fucked you've made things for yourself. You were living in heaven before you meddled with the G3. Save your breath, all that yipping and yapping. We're about to put foot to ass. We're coming for you. I've got the two most important people in your life, and I'm going to kill them. <laughs> oh, but not right away. First, I'll make things miserable for them. They're going to suffer as much as you've made me suffer. You're just straight evil. I'm not going to ask you to stop. I doubt you'd listen. I'd just like to inform you that I'm going to make sure you die. And that it's going to hurt. <laughs> A lot. <laughs> Besides, you won't even be able to get to my new base on Earth without the proper coordinates. So just sit tight until I come to kill you myself. Well, looks like we're in it. No turning back now. Ah, another bounty down. Look at us racking them up. <laughs> Good work, Bounty Hunter. What say we head home? Surprise on Power Fly. Oh, thanks for deciding to bring me back out. Uh, do you think we can land? Ah, you killed the Screndel brothers and freed us again. Thank you. Thank you. Everyone else is too traumatized to talk right now. Sorry. We just keep getting captured over and over again, you know? It's a lot to take in. You're really on fire, aren't you? Obviously, you're not as good at bounty hunting as I used to be, but hey... I'm gloppy enough to admit you're doing pretty damn well. Turn in that bounty. Yeah. I actually wanted to run something by you. How would you feel about me maybe fixing up my old bounty hunting ads? Maybe putting you in them to drum up business? I mean, my name will still be bigger than yours in the logo, but... We'd be stupid not to capitalize on your growing reputation. Yo, you guys are fresh out of Frendelos. Oh, hey, I I'm Tweeg. I'm dating your sister. Uh, this fucking guy. Tweeg, you need to leave. Um, Lizzie says it's cool if I'm here. You're just gonna let this sack of shit eat all my Frendelos and tongue kiss your sister? I'm the one who bought those fucking Frendelos. And leave Tweeg alone. You know he has a barbed tongue and he's very sensitive about it. I can go. No, Tweeg. You're staying. Tell him he's staying. Look, he doesn't even love you. He's just after our house. It's our house. Exactly. Hey, Tweeg, you gotta be careful around Lizzie. She's just gonna hit it and quit it. Real heartbreaker. I'd get out now while you're still in the green. And hey, you want a real lover? Talk to me. Don't you have a galaxy to fuck? Come on, tell him to leave. Thank you. I appreciate it. But honestly, it's my house too. So I don't even know why I have to fight for this. I'm just so pissed at everyone. Oh, Not you, Tweeg. I love you, baby. Ah! Disgusting! Look at this! They're not even the same species! Do, 
Do you know how many holes he has? And they're all really advanced level holes. You really gotta take my nephew instead. His holes are more your speed. Shut the hell up, Jean. I am sick of your shit. All you do is sit on our couch and mope about how sad your life is. You're a leech trying to eat all of our friendalos and use the only family I have left to relive your glory days. Hey, your family's doing a great job. You know how hard it is to kill that many high-level bounties in such a short amount of time? I mean, it's not as fast as... I could have done it, but, uh... I know they're doing a great job, and I'm proud of them. But I'm stuck here dealing with you all the time, and you're fucking pathetic! Tell him how pathetic he is. Hey, come on. Don't make it sound so sad. Look, I admit I wasn't in a good place when you found me, but I feel like I'm part of your family now. I'm basically your dad now. You too, Lizzie. I'm your dad. I'm just worried about you dating this weird freak who just wants to steal my couch away from me. You can call it your couch when you start paying rent. Until then, no complaining about who lives here. Lives here? He's gonna live here? I mean, if you think we're ready, Tweeg. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. Hey, shut up, Tweeg. This isn't about you. Why? Because you're worried you'll have to share a cushion? No! Because I... Because I'm concerned! You barely know this guy, and it's dangerous out there for humans. Oh, that's rich and condescending. I am not an idiot. I know what I'm doing. You're cool with Twig moving in, right? We don't have all day. Just answer all... Hell yeah. That's the right call. Twig's a creep. You think I'm a creep? You are a creep. Everybody better stop calling my boyfriend a creep. Effective immediately. You know, I just didn't realize I was a creep. Ugh, that's enough of this. Twig, let's go to the park. To... <laughs> to, to kiss? <laughs> yeah. Anybody got a fucking problem with that? Eesh. Sorry I said anything. Let's just get back to the bounty hunting. Can't wait to show you those new commercials. Here's the skinny. You're all gonna need some major firepower if you really plan to take on Garmantuous. We're a team of guns. You really think we need more firepower? Trust me. We need this. Klug sent over the details on an extremely powerful Gatlion. You found another Gatlion? That's right. Supposedly he's in the possession of another G3 officer. A scientist named Dr. John Giblets. And guess what? I can't find shit on him. I don't even know where he is. So, question is, how do we find him? We do it the old-fashioned way, and ask around. Maybe we find out his coordinates and warp him in. I'm sending you to Blim to gather intel. I don't know. I'm fucking tired, kid. Maybe you'll appreciate me more if you do my job. Chill out, Gene. We appreciate you, man, and we'll handle this. All right. Skip the portal door and just head out into Blim. Oh, and before you go, you might need a little extra help. I went ahead and unlocked a new feature on your bounty suit. You're welcome. And Jill came tumbling after. Hey there, bounty hunter. It's me, Sudo, again. I'm still here. I've been here the whole time. Welcome to detective mode. I'm here to help you sleuth out all those really big, crazy mysteries. Oh, a detective mode. Couldn't we have used this earlier? All right, let's see. It looks like you're looking for a... Dr. John Giblets. Is that correct? That's right. Oh, fantastic. Let me do a quick search for you. This will solve it immediately. And... No matches found. Oh, well, it's never that easy. Why don't you start by interrogating the locals? I guess I should have figured this thing would be useless. 